Hello, right, at long last, <coughs> excuse me, I'm back with some more videos. Uh, I'm sorry about the delay, I've just been extremely hectic with work recently and it's stopped me doing things that I really wanted to do, which was one of these things. Um, so anyway, the last time I did a video was uh, showing off an emulator idea which uh, I'd developed. Um, I've actually redesigned all the emulator since because I wasn't very happy with it, although it worked um, and you could start and stop games as I showed the program code. Um, it was a little bit temperamental with certain boards. I found that some boards it would work, some boards it wouldn't. Um, it was a bit voltage sensitive depending on the power you put in the board. So I wasn't happy with that and I've redesigned it so now the emulator is a lot more robust uh, and very stable and actually works very well. Um, so this series of videos, I'm going to have to do it in series because obviously my limited technology of my camera and my phone that I'm using at the moment doesn't allow me to do long videos because it runs out of memory unfortunately. Uh, so this video was just going to be basically to start showing off the hardware and then the next video which will follow very shortly will show some of its capabilities. Um, the emulator, as you can see, this is an old Galaxian board. Uh, it's actually a working Galaxian. It's got a few little issues with things, which uh, I'll show you later on. But it won't actually cause any problems with the emulator. And it does work. Um, pretty much 90% it works. So the emulator is this board here, which is a currently on a bit of breadboard. There is a new board getting designed uh, by Silverfox, uh, and that will be available shortly. Uh, basically what we have is we have a Z80B sitting under here um, we have a cable which goes right up to the tester as you can see uh, that's my tester unfortunately which is a Mark 1, an old Mark 1 and it's on a Mark 1 adapter board as you can recognize there with a few extra wires hooked up to it uh, when it's available obviously all this will be sorted out so you know it'll be a complete package you'll buy and it will work on Mark 1s and Mark 2 testers, and also the 2.1 tester, which is more or less a 2 as well. So the emulator is this. Um, it plugs into the usual processor socket, which is a Z80 socket on the Galaxian. Um, at the moment, it only works with Z80s. Uh, obviously, it, there will be a 6502 and things to follow eventually once I figure it out. The emulator now has some RAM on board, so it's got a 32K SRAM. Um, and it's got a load of dip switches, so you can you can configure this SRAM into either 1K, 2K, 4K, 8, 16, or the full 32 blocks effectively of memory. And when it's when it's enabled, it will shadow whatever program ROM you have on the board. So you can see this this Galaxian has no code. It's got no program ROMs. The two sockets where it all plugs in are completely empty. There's no program code on this board at all. So if I select that RAM, effectively that RAM will then go into where the program code goes in the address range, starting at address 0 for the Z80 because it always executes at address 0. Um, if you have program ROMs plugged in, it's still not a problem. The emulator will still work with that, and if you disable the RAM on the emulator, the program code on the GLAC symbol will then operate as normal. If you enable the RAM, then whatever block size you've enabled will be shadowed over the program ROM and it always starts at address 0 so say if you enable 8k then the first 8k of the program ROM will be actually the RAM instead and then it will switch automatically back to the program code in the ROMs. Uh, you can also write protect the RAM so uh, you could do that. It auto write protects as well which I'll explain later um, and it also has a battery backup function so if the, pro if the power is disturbed um, and you unplug the emulator from the board, plug it back in again, whatever program code you've got stored in it will be preserved. Um, it can also operate as a standalone microcontroller board with a Z80 obviously on board. So you can use the board sort of like an Arduino, power it up, you, know, you can load, load in your code into it, take it all off the tester, etc. And then you can use that as a standalone little Z80 controller. Um, and that's pretty much the emulator. The orange light on at the moment, you can see, indicates that the emulator is in a standby mode, which means it's not active. So that means you can then do all the features with the tester on the board 
as you normally would do if you want to check the RAM, memory map, whatever. You can do all that via the emulator board. Uh, it won't have any effect. Uh, when the emulator is enabled, the light will go off and then you have limited access to the board via the tester because it uses the same address and data bus. So you can't have the two things running at the same time, but it will allow you to do certain things. Um, the tester has protection built in it, so if you try and do something and it won't let you do it, uh, it will come up with an error. Um, and it does that to protect the emulator and all the buses. Um, so that's pretty much the hardware. Um, the new board, uh, as I say, will be quite small compared to this. This is actually quite large because I've obviously hand wired it all up. The new board will be a much smaller board uh, and it will just plug into the Z80 socket with a short cable and then you'll have a usual cable. This cable is actually about 500 millimeters long um, which is probably pushing it to the limit to be honest but you can you can you also use shorter cables etc um, and I say it'll have a load of dip switches and some LEDs on it to indicate what it's up to. Uh, and I say it's plugged in currently to this Galaxian board which I use as a test board. So the only thing on the Galaxian board is I've got the graphics ROMs plugged in which are actually Galaxian graphic ROMs. Um, all the RAM's okay on the board but there is no program code as you can see. So all we have is a Galaxian board powered up with an emulator plugged into it uh, and the screen I'm getting at the moment is that which is what you'd expect. So it's a static board effectively powered up and I can do things with a tester on it as I normally would do. So I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to do the next video which will then go into showing what this emulator can actually do because there's a lot of cool tricks it can do. Um, so the first video after this will show me actually running this Galaxian board with the Galaxian code but not put it into an EEPROMS and I'll show you some tricks you can do with that. Okay, so next video coming up very shortly.